Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona career mode series. As always, let's see what we did last time out, see how the points look, and see where we're headed today. So last time out we raced at Richmond, our qualifying wasn't too hot, we started the race in 20th, but we were able to come back 10th on the lead lap, so definitely had a good improvement there, good run, and let's see how the points look. And that run moved us up to 23rd in the points. Our goal is top 35, which I think we have pretty much locked up, but obviously there's room for improvement. I just want to see how well we can do this season, so I definitely think we can hop up another couple spots if we keep having good runs. And hopping back into the calendar, we're going to continue the month of September, and today we're running New Hampshire again. We did run here pretty well last time, so I hope we can take that same setup, maybe tweak it a little bit since we've got the aero upgrade since then, and hopefully we can have a good run. I don't know how noticeable it is through the webcam, but I am wearing my Drive Fast Be Nice shirt. I put out a video the other week, and basically I ordered a bunch of the new merch I made and kind of did a review on it just to see if I liked it. Now, I mentioned this is a shirt that I would wear often, and I've I've been wearing this shirt it's super comfortable I really like it if you want to grab one I'm sure down below you can find it and if you become a channel member you can get 15% off your order so if you want to support me and you like the stuff grab a shirt now that I'm done talking I can try and focus and Carlo. maybe maybe run a good lap we'll see I definitely attacked the corner quite different compared to Mark Martin because I almost ran him over going into the corner and he's half a second ahead of me, <laughs> leaving the corner. That felt like a good three and four. I hope this is a pretty good lap time. Yeah, not our fastest, but pretty close. So I, I had to keep from doing that, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple changes, but the car feels pretty good so far. So I made a couple quick changes to the car. I pretty much just added a little bit of grill tape and dropped the wedge a little bit just to see if I could loosen it up. We will obviously see if uh, that was a good idea or not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get some good laps in. Stay low, still there. All clear. Could have exited four just a smidge better, I think, but uh. Car high, all clear. Oh yeah, we're fine. Clear high. Got a little too close to the apron there, but uh. Yeah, still, still pretty solid lap. Might have sailed that off a little fast into turn one, though. Still tight on exit, unfortunately. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty bad lap. Come on. I think I'm gonna go back to the garage, do one more round of changes, and if I don't get any faster, I'll just undo them, and we'll uh, we'll see if I know what I'm doing. So I made a couple shock and spring changes just to try and basically keep it from getting too loose when I break, but also to help it rotate when I'm on the throttle. So. If I did a good job, we should be pretty fast here. If I did a bad job, I'm going to spin out a lot. Now that was not what I wanted going sideways while on the brakes. That is actually the exact opposite of what we want. But, uh, 
The car does seem to be rotating pretty well on throttle, which is always a positive. Okay, we're within a hundredth of our best lap ever. So I'm feeling pretty good about the car. I am gonna run quite a few laps though, just to see if it happens to get worse over time. But I'm assuming this is gonna be the setup. That was a pretty decent one too. Let's see if we can actually put a good lap together. Didn't hit the wall out of four. That's a big plus. Not too bad of a lap and that was our fifth lap. So, you know, the tires probably aren't as good as we're, we're doing laps, but as long as I can still control the car 10 laps into a run, I think I'll be okay. I just have to not do that coming out of the corner and I think I'll be fine. Well, I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get the car. So, let's see, 29.4. Yeah, we are not beating that. My hope is that we can start close enough to the front that uh, we have a good reference with fast cars in front of us. It's always hard at the beginning of the race when you know you mess up qualifying like I'm doing now and you start around slow cars. It's hard to really gauge how good you are if you're racing around people you shouldn't be. This is probably not going to be a very pretty lap, but let's find out. All right, let's see where we play. Well, 30-24, that's, uh, that's solid. I think we'll definitely be starting in the front half. All right, starting 10th. That is certainly better than I expected. I'm pretty happy with that. Well, I think it's about that time for Alan to tell us all about New Hampshire. Hello, I'm Alan Bestwick and welcome to Loudoun, New Hampshire. At a distance of just over a mile, this squared off oval has seen some fantastic finishes in its history. Over 100,000 people attend each race, coming from nearby Boston, Providence and all of New England to see the action at New Hampshire International Speedway. I don't know how much of it is picked up on the webcam, but behind me I do have some Eric Almirola sheet metal. And if you remember, his last cup win was here in New Hampshire, so maybe that'll bring us some good luck today. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car low. I do remember last time we were here, I ran Three into wide. someone Three in the wide. opening corner. Actually, I want to say it was before we even got to the start line. At least I made it till turn two before I hit anyone this time. So we came out relatively unscathed for the first lap. And... We've got 38 to go, 23 laps of fuel. Carlo. So we should be able to stop Three once, wide. probably about the halfway mark, and be good to go. Obviously, that's clear assuming we run caution-free, which is almost a never in races that I'm a part of. But we'll see. I definitely think we have the pace to make at least a couple passes and hopefully run in the top 10, but 
We're gonna find out. Still there. Clear high. It's always amazing to me that guys can just run the bottom of the track, have the worst angle going into the corner, and it doesn't negatively affect them in the slightest. Like, no one could run that Matt Kenseth line and make good time. It's just not possible. Stay low. Still there. All clear. That was your best lap ever. Hey, look at that. Best lap ever. I'm sure the tires are already getting hot. I'm I'm not even going to look because I don't I don't want to look. So I feel like we've settled into ninth pretty well. I don't know if we're really gonna make up any time on the guys up in front. And I hope we can keep the guys behind us, behind us. That was not a great corner. Oh, that was also not great. Oh, yeah. Well, we've fallen back to 10th because I forgot how to drive again, but that's okay. We'll get him back. Well, unfortunately, the guys that are passing me seem to be going on by. Ooh, uh, there was almost a spin right here. But yeah, I'm definitely losing the handle on the car. That is, that is for sure. Oh yeah, that's uh, yep, that's somebody that spun all right. Well, with the yellow out, I believe I'm going to take out. I'm going to take this Still time there. to pit and see if I can maybe stretch fuel or something towards All the end of the there. race. So it looks like a very very few of us are actually pitting. I might have miscalculated and 
there might just be no way that we can make it from here, but you know I'm always up for a fuel strategy gamble, so we'll see what we can do. And I know the arrow isn't super important here, but at least it'll be nice to get that fixed up a little bit. What, what are we doing? Why are we stopping? Go. Go past everybody. Yeah. It looks like a lot of guys might be pitting this time around. Yeah, I guess the field wanted to wait one more lap. Whatever. I'm apparently now in the lead. And then the guys in front of me, I assume, would be the quote-unquote wave around cars that the game doesn't actually know how to wave around, so they're just gonna start in my way, I think. Well, as long as I cross the line first here, I think I will have five bonus points. And it looks like guys are going into the pits as the pace car goes off. So, brilliant strategy on their part, I'd say. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car high. All right, we let a lap. That's five points. Car high. Let's go. I'm not going to lead the next one, though. That is for sure. You're three wide. Clear high. Oh, Mark, what are you doing? You're all clear. Car low. Car high. Clear low. Well, I led two laps. Car high. Car high. Out. Yep, now now we got damage. Got, that was that was All dumb. Clear. I should have just let him go. But uh, All clear. uh I don't always think things through. Pace cars out. Pace cars off. Get set. The race is going green. There's a wreck in turn four. Carlo, there's a green flag. 20 to go. I love going green Carlo. and hearing that there's a crash. Carlo. Like, what in the world? Also, I probably should have pit there because Car of that high. wheel damage. The car did not want to turn going into clear. turn one. Oh, no. No. We're fine. All clear. Okay, that's the halfway mark. Car low. Yeah, the car will not turn anymore because of damage. Uh, if we get another caution, I'm probably going to have to pit, unfortunately. Still there. We're fine. Car low. Clear low. Yep, car is fine. No problems at all. Guess I'm not. Guess I'm not blocking that one. So we're currently in seventh. We've got 16 to go. Saving two laps. Saving two laps of fuel won't be a problem at all. But I really just wonder how far back we're gonna fall. Eight wheels turn better than four. All clear. And I still shoot straight All into the wall. High. My goodness. Clear low. 
Come on, Matt. Bump draft. Trying my hardest to wrap the yellow line, but the car just does not want to turn in the second half of the corner. This car was better. Clear low. Sir, I am there. You're three wide. Oh Clear no. High. Oh. Oh lord. We're car fine. High. Clear high. I was turning car right low. that entire time. And he just did not want to let me go. Car low. Car high. Clear low. Oh dear. Yeah, this this car is uh <laughs> is a mess right now. Oh man. There's a wreck in turn two. Oh yay, we're headed toward. Yep. Okay. Cars out. Ooh, I just heard Bobby oh, slap the wall behind me. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just pit, try to fix the car, and uh, hope for the best. Car low. All clear. Ten laps to go. The pace car is off. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. All right, I'm not sure how exactly that worked, but it did. Still there. Clear high. Car low. So basically, I just tried to loosen the car as much as possible. Still there. And we're just gonna send it these last 10 laps. Clear high. All clear. Because of the caution, bunching everybody up again, if I didn't pit, we were just going to keep losing spots, so the only logical thing was go on Still offense there. and try to make some passes. All clear. So we've made it back to where we were before the caution came out, and we definitely have a chance to keep moving forward. So I'd say pitting was definitely a good call. Oh wow, we just ran in the 29s. All clear. Car low. Hold your line. Clear high. I don't think we're going to make it back up to the top 10, but. Bro, pick a lane. Hold your line. Clear high. Car low. Oh, the car is already getting very tight. All clear. I am overheating these tires a lot and running into stuff isn't helping either Five laps to go. oh break the a smidge late there that's okay everything's fine I probably won't have any friends after this race but uh 
That's that's not the that's not what we care about right now. We just want good finishes. Did not need to catch the apron there. Carlo. Carlo. Car high. I really don't like when they pass me and then immediately move in front of me. Oh man, this car Carlo. is crazy car tight in traffic. <laughs> if I have clean air. I can run no okay, but when there's traffic, no there. it does high. not does not want to run Here at all. Go. I think unfortunately I've burned up my stuff pretty good, and now I'm just going to be Car holding low. on for Car the high. last lap and a half. Clear low, clear high. I would love to get a top 15, but I don't think that's going to happen. All clear. Carlo. Well, <laughs> I gave it my all. Ugh. <sighs> Well, that was quite a race. Had some ups and downs. We led a couple laps. Probably should have finished a little better, but I I need to work on my car tuning, that is for sure. Let's see if we made money. And we brought in another $81,000. I'd say that's a pretty solid day. Cannot complain about $81,000. So we came back 17th, 117 points earned on the day because of that five bonus points we got. And looks like we're still 23rd in the points. We definitely made up some ground on Atwood and Mike Wallace dropped back behind us a little bit further. I, if we keep running like this, I think we can keep moving forward. I just have to keep, you know, finishing top 20 every race. And I think we can probably move up a little bit more. Well, friends, that's going to do it for another episode. I just want to say a big thanks for watching. Drop a like if you liked the video. Leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. And subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.